right, guys. So it's time to get the uh, Marlin 2.0 on this uh, SKR 1.3 board. So there's actually a branch for this uh, version. So if you look, you have SKR 1.1, which board I have. And then you also have this 1.3, so that's what I'll be working on. Because I already got Marlin 2.0 on the version 1.1. So like I said before, um, they seem to have a much better documentation for this uh, 1.3 board. Better pictures, better, better images. Uh, manual, you know, looks way better. You know, goes through. So I'm gonna, actually I'm gonna clone this right here. I'm gonna download all this and I'm gonna unpack it. Download a zip file and then I'll be back. I'm gonna unpack it. Then I'll move it over here. All right. So here is the file. I already uh, unzipped it, and as you can see, I have 1.1 here and 1.3 here. So, let's go take a look. So we have the diagram. And that just gives you some basic. Uh, this is how I did my jumper settings earlier in the first video. But I do actually have the uh, 128 uh, meg. It's actually tiny too. It's 128 meg. And I'm going to put in my SanDisk SD card reader and we'll see what's on there. So I haven't even touched I don't even know what's on this card, but I'm assuming it's SmoothieWare. So let's see. Yep, firmware.cure. So what I notice also, what's weird is when you when you when you put a binary file or bin file on the SD card, the first time it boots up, it will convert that firmware into a uh, bin file. So, all right. So let's take a look at this card. We'll put that back over here, and so I got the jumper set already. What I'm looking for is because I have a few different things I have to configure for my printer. I have to configure the uh, BL touch because I have a BL touch and that's why I bought this card is because it has that three pin dedicated port for the BL touch and uh, let's see wiring diagram so there's different images and pictures of this thing uh, hardware let's see pin that's what I'm wondering about I'm actually what I'm trying to figure out is what pin the servo is um, Let's see, where is the pin servo? Well, I'll have to figure that out, but at least I'll, I'm going to show you the uh, firmware part of it and the stuff that I have to do here. So let's get going. All right, so this is the firmware right here. Smoothieware, TFTP, but we're going to be in here, bug fix. And it's in Marlin. And uh, I guess from here you could actually use the original IDE, the Marlin or the uh, Arduino IDE, or I actually use the platform IO. So let me do a quick search for Atom. Atom is a it's a software program. Run that. It's booting up. All right, let's open up this file here. It's under Big Tree Downloads, and it's the platform IO INI file. Uh, bug fix 2.0. Okay, so some of them the, I need to go into the Marlin folder here, and this is the most important file that I need to see. And what I'm looking for is the uh, specific the hardware revision would be 1.3 this file right here this basically tells Marlin how to control that board the pinouts of the board so let me show you where that's at it should be under where is it uh, source and uh, uh, core 4s.h so this is actually where it defines the board the pinouts on the board 4s.h and so if you download a typical version of like Marlin, it's not going to actually have the boards.h file, at least with the definition for the uh, SKR 1.3 board. So you need to download that special version of Marlin I, I, that I just cloned off of uh, GitHub. Okay, there we go. So we got to make sure that's defined. And I'm going to go through, I'm actually going to use my old, you know, Marlin or Marlin 1.1.9. Just copy a lot of the settings I have that are working for my current ANET printer. Well, originally it was an ANET printer. That cheapo Craigslist printer. All right. 
So what I'm looking for is, I, I'm what I'm I'm curious to see if they actually have a uh, fine, fine and buffer. Let's where that go. Um, let's see, B L. Okay. Field test delay. What I'm trying to figure out is the servo pin. So you're you're gonna have to define a servo pin, and uh, when you when you set up this uh, excuse me, the BL touch here, and I don't see a servo pin defined. But before I even get to that BL touch part of it. I'm going to go back and uh, get all my offsets and my uh, stuff set up. Yeah, I'm going to copy it over from my original Marlin. Dot. Let me see if I can get this up here. Okay, so what you have in front of you is the original, my ANET 1.1.9 Marlin configuration. So I'm just going to copy most of the stuff over uh, in the configuration.h, you know, for my printer. Like the BL touch offsets and you know the dimensions of the printer, you know the X Y Z, and just kind of go through here and, and get the stuff, and then uh, I'll be back. But uh, th then I'll go through with the uh, the TMC drivers, the TMC because I'm going to be using UART mode, the TMC drivers, and we'll get the BL touch going, the correct servo pin. All right, so like I said, I mean I have multiple screens which you can't see, but uh, I mean I have quad monitors, but. So I'm just basically going through the configuration and kind of copying over what I know already works for my printer. So I know that the uh, the directions are uh, the invert directions here. Invert X would be for my printer is true and true, true, true. So all three are true. So just going through and got to make sure this matches your printer. And going through and true faults so define actually I also need to invert my uh, extruder because I'm running the uh, tight and narrow alright so e0 true okay let's go through and I need to do my bed offset so my printer is so every time I look up I'm looking at my configuration my Marlin config up there uh, so it's 220 is the X, the side to side this way is X. So that mine's 220 and then 270. And then uh, I know my addition. Okay, I don't need to define the Z max. So my de defined max Z position would be 400. Well, actually, I should probably make it a little bit less. It's probably X, say, 380. Um, well, because my, my, um, the, well, I guess the Titan was not, it's a little bit different. It's a little bit higher, I guess. So I, I took away from the stock. So I'd add the, you can't still want to like that. Okay. Just going through. All right, so now I'm back here. I need to figure out the BL touch part of it. Um, and I'm looking at this diagram. I'm guessing servos down here means that it's uh, pin 2.0 or 2.0. Um, so I need to go back and look at this. I'm going to copy this. 
this right here. I'm just curious to see what the pinouts are for this board. You can you can figure that out too by going going back to the uh, source core boards.h file. And uh, let's do we'll do a quick find for this. That's why I copied this board here. No results. Let's see big tree. It might be called something. Okay, I found it. So it's so boards.h tells you basically the it, it kind of creates like a definition list, and you got to go back down to it's in pins, this pins folder here, and that will have all the boards displayed. So I got to find mine, which is the big tree, and that's the processor here. That's the uh, the ARM processor. And this basically kind of tells me the actual pins. Okay, so at least I know now I, I, I do the underscore and not just basically a dot. All right, so I'm going to go out through here and try to find pin 2.0. I'm just curious to see what it says. All right, so actually I just saw this right here. This is a uh, the servo pin. And P two O, so I gotta put that right there. So it's P two underscore zero zero, and I gotta put that back in the configuration dot h file. And we gotta go down to we'll do a quick BL touch search. Okay, so this is where I had put my pin 29 was from my uh, A net board, but I'm gonna paste that there, and that's p2 underscore zero zero, and that actually should be that should tell BL Touch that the servo pin is on the servo pin 20, which was defined in the uh, pins. All right, all right. So let me, I'm gonna double check everything, and then. Go down and make sure these are all set. The probe offset. So this is actually where my BL touch is offset from the uh, extruder. And uh, let's see here. All right. I mean, I'm sure I'm going to get some warnings, but we will see. Hit this right here. All right. So I think my mic is all jacked up on my uh, my uh, this mic right here, man. It's my new microphone setup. And it's all kinds of static. So let me show you where the uh, firmware is. So it's in the firmware in the root directory, firmware, Marlin 2.0 bug fix, and PIO environments, and LVC 1768. And this bin file is the file that I just created when it compiled that software. So I'm going to copy this and move it over to the SD card. And that will be it. All right, so we're back on the test bench here. Let me zoom this in a little bit. That's my uh, Octopi test screen in the last video. The video on there. Okay, so here is the SD card that I just copied over the firmware bin file to. I'm going to put that in. I actually have my uh, TFT32 set up on here. And power's on. I have a stepper, single stepper motor on the X, X thing there. So on the, usually what I did before is on the first boot up with the new firmware in there, it converted from some of the word to uh, Marlin 2.0. So I might kick to my variable power supply. And it's gone. I don't know how long it takes to convert, if it's almost like instantaneous or if it's... Let's see, just a thought here. Ah, oh, there we go. As you can see, on a Marlin 2.0. I can switch this to 10. So on my screen, I'm basically hitting the uh, move button. Awesome! Marlin 2.0 on an SKR 1.3 board.